Uh, the good old octet rule exceptions. What atoms don't follow the octet rule? A better question is which atoms always follow the octet rule? The only atoms that I've found that always follow the octet rule are carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. Maybe neon, but neon doesn't bond very often, so these are the ones you really have to remember. Everything else is basically an exception. Hydrogen wants two electrons in its outer shell. See, here's a hydrogen in a water. Hydrogen's happy with just the two electrons in the bond and you're good to go. Lithium is also happy with two electrons. LiF, which is actually ionic, so I shouldn't have drawn it this way, but that lithium is happy with two bonds there as well. Or sorry, two electrons in the shared bond. Beryllium is happy with four. BeF2 is a common example of that. Be is happy with just the two bonds, and that's it. That makes four electrons. Boron is happy with six. B, uh, actually, BF3 is the common one for that. I guess we use F a lot. Boron is happy here with just its three bonds. And Al is basically the exact same as B. You'll notice Al and B are in the same column, and so they react in the same way in terms of how many electrons they want in their valence shell. Now the problem is, once you get down into your P's, your S's, your CL's, the electron configurations for those, which I'll write here, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p something, for P it would be 3, for S it would be 4, etc etc once you get into the third row there's another shell avail another subshell available to it if you kept going here you would end up with some 4s's and there's also a 3d shell what can happen once you get to phosphorus sulfur chlorine argon is that you can get hybridization which means that some of the 3s or the 3s orbital and some of the p's rather all three of the p's and some of the d's can all combine it's called sp3d2 hybridization and what it really means is that instead of there being eight electrons in the outer shell no 3p4 what the, oh right uh in, rather than there being eight electrons in the s and p shells combined you can actually get up to 12, two for the S's, two for each of the P's, that makes six, and two for each of the D's, that makes four. Which means some of these atoms can hold up to 12 electrons in their outer shell, as sulfur does in something like SF6. SF6, you need six bonds to the sulfur. And it's because of this special kind of hybridization that allows anything beyond P to just break the octet rule whenever the hell it wants. The only ones that follow are C, N, O, and F. And you'd be good for you to memorize these because teachers like to trick people with that. Everything else, just do what you got to do. Phosphorus can take 10. Sulfur can take 12, etc., etc. Whatever the molecule calls for, that's what you do. All right? Best of luck.